Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video I am showing you some other Halloween decor options you can find online if you have never checked out these stores before. The first one I am going to look at is West Elm. It is not close to me in a local shopping area so I decided to do a video to show you some of their cute online decor. Now, I recently went to Cost Plus World Market and I showed you some skeletons that were very similar to this guy right here. I will link that video in the description box below. And this is where I saw the skeleton hanging from the fireplace. It's kind of that terracotta skeleton and I thought it was so cute. I will link that video in the description box so you can go back and watch that video. But let's go ahead and look at their Halloween decor. They have lots of great Halloween decor. Now, as far as there's the glasses, it's kind of that pottery barn vibe everyone is after. And look at this snake pillow. So cute. Now, everyone knows I'm not a fan of the snakes, but I really did like the detail and how this pillow looks with the tassels and whatnot. And then they also have this adorable bat front doormat. Now again, here's some prices and some of their items. So these terracotta skeletons retail for $59. And then their dishware is called Curiosity Halloween Salad Plate Set. Those retail for $52. Now this guy, I think is super cool. You could put some floral around him, around your, on your fireplace mantle or on a shelf. And he is a black terracotta skull for $40. Now I'm going to scroll down. Here are some more terracotta Halloween, Halloween skulls. There is the orange and the black and they have the floral. And then they also have some ceramic white skulls. I just love how they have the black floral with the candles and the spider web kind of intertwined. That actually looks more, that's cheesecloth, but it gives it kind of that spider web effect. Now I love this for like an entry way table. It's a, it's gothic, the look Halloween skulls decor ranging from $19 to $236. Look at that centerpiece, that candle holder. I'm gonna keep scrolling down. I will go back to some items. And before I click on the actual items. Now this tray is very spooky. This creeps me out. I do not like the snakes, as you all know if you've been watching my videos, but that is so realistic to me. No, thank you. Now, I just think these terracotta skull tabletop planners are adorable. You could do so many different things with them. Look at this cute doormat. And the spiderweb pillow, $40, pretty comparable to what's out there. I mean, most home good pillows were seen at 25. But for West Elm, I feel like $40 is a very reasonable price and it's free shipping. Now these drip flameless candles are very, very cool, but I've seen a lot of these actually at the dollar spot in Target. Now I love the skull candles. If I had this bad boy, I would probably not light them. Um, it does look like it isn't a battery operated candle. It is a wax candle. That is something I will go back and absolutely click on. Here we have another cute doormat, their dishware. Again, with the snakes, this guy looks so realistic. They just did a fantastic job with their decor this Halloween season. I love how they have the pumpkins and the floral on the fireplace. Here is those dishes. 
Now, I actually do kind of like the snake candle holder. It's called a taper holder. I do think it is very cool. Here we have the Halloween skull decor look again. I will go back and click on that. That spooky pillow is adorable. So again, I just kind of wanted to give a overview. Now these woven pumpkins, I do have some and I would use these more around Thanksgiving time, quite honestly. So it is a flameless skull candle. So it is battery operated and it retails for $50. I actually really like that. I think that that is a great candle. Here is a wax drip flameless taper candle. Light up spiderweb doormat. This reminds me of the doormats they have at Pottery Barn. You step on them and they light up. And then here we have a baby blanket. That is adorable. And if my daughter was still a baby, I would most definitely be buying this because her nickname was Boo. Still is. And now we are going to be getting more into the Thanksgiving decor or fall if you're a fall decorator. Now this terracotta skull called candelabra holder, I actually kind of really like it. It's very gothic, very spooky looking. And then this trinket dish is actually very cool. A lot of people I don't think realize the decor that West Elm has. That's why I wanted to share it with you. Now this skull dish, you could actually go to the dollar store. Here, I'm giving you a tip. Save yourself the $56. Buy a black bowl and take skull heads and glue them around the bowl. Or you could get any color bowl and spray paint it and do the same thing. Cute little trick-or-treat bags. Some bat garland. And I'm just gonna, I do like the skull face. I, this is really cute. And again, if you are going to be decorating a bar cart, these whiskey glasses, I absolutely love. I have seen these before. I think they are so cool looking. I like the skull glasses as well. And then if you need a beer, mug. Everything is so cute. Sorry if my talking is kind of funny. I am off oxygen right now, so sometimes I get winded and it's hard for me, so please excuse that. I had someone comment I sound like a robot. Well, I'm sorry. Like, I can't please everyone. I try to do the best I can in my videos, and that is why my talking is different sometimes because if I go off oxygen when I'm making a video, that is why I have to stop and kind of catch my breath and whatnot. So I'm going to click on this one and we will see what happens. It is going to the page. Now basically when you click on it, it is an overview of all the decor that they used in the picture and you click on what you want and you can add it to the cart. So for example, these, I love these terracotta skull guys. Let's click on that. And again, it, you can get almost the same thing at Cost Plus World Market. Ooh, I like that decor as well. Um, I'm going to click on add to the cart below just to see what happens. And these are all the items that are in the picture. And these are $59 and they do come in the two different colors, the black and the terracotta. So I just wanted to share 
this with you. A lot of people don't talk about West Elm and I just wanted to share they have some spooky items as well. All right, now here I am on the Crate and Barrel website. I just wanted to share their cute Halloween decor that they also have. Now, a lot of times if you go on a website that you have not been on before, this will pop up and if you fill this out, you will automatically get 10% off any full price items, which is amazing. We're all about saving money, right? So I'm going to click off of this and we are going to check out their Halloween decor. Now you're gonna see a lot of similarities to Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn has almost the exact same pumpkins and I really love those big black pots they have. I'm going to scroll down. There you are with those lanterns, which is what they call them. Those are $39.95 to $99.95. They have a fall autumn wreath, some pumpkins, their metal haunted houses. I love the little ghosties. These little ghosts have been quite popular. I have seen them over the years. They have cauldron serving bowls. Now these are very, very cute. These would be fun to have around the house. And they aren't very expensive, $9.95 to $34.95, as well as these little ghosties are $9.95 to $12.95. I do like the, the fox black branch wreath, but I feel like you could make something like this yourself very easily and save yourself the $69.95. These salad plates are adorable. I like the colors, how they're plain and simple. Here are some cotton dish towels. These bat cocktail glasses are adorable. Again, if you are decorating a bar cart. And here are just some other items that they have. Again, I would use something like this more for my Thanksgiving decor. And of course you have a black matte salad plate. The trick or treat doormat is very cute at $29.95. And I love this Dutch oven. You could use this anytime throughout the year. They have lots of great stuff. Not as much Halloween as West Elm had, but they do have some cute items. Now, wouldn't this be so much fun? You could do so many things with this. You could make a pizza, stuffed pizza thing, like a calzone. This tub would be lots of fun if you're having a Halloween party. So again, this is at crateandbarrel.com. And I feel like you could make this spooky or you could make this for Thanksgiving. They have great dishware. I really like this set right here. And it is actually on sale right now, which that is a very good deal. I have bought their dishes before and they last forever. And that is about it with their Halloween. Now we're just kind of going into their other decor, neutral. I like this serving bowl a lot. I, that one's really cool. You could make that spooky. You could make that all year round. Same with the candle holders to the left. Lots of nice neutral colors. So that is about it for their Halloween. So you should definitely go over and check out their website. All right, today I also wanted to check out Anthropology. Now in the past they've had more fall decor, but this year they, they came out with some Halloween items 
and I wanted to check them out, so I thought I would bring you guys along with me. I love owls. I think owls are very cool. You will see throughout my Halloween decor, I do have some owls, and I thought that this magic owl lantern was very cute. It comes in two different sizes, retailing for from $38 to $68. And this Halloween magic mug, who, can, who can't resist a cat? That cat is adorable. We have the masquerade dish towel, which again has a bunch of cats all over it. And of course you have their primrose mirrors that they're very famous for that are adorable. Their candles are, are also amazing. There's a candle I used to buy from them all the time, the Capri Blue, and I absolutely love that candle. Um, when I worked at Nordstrom's, I was able to buy their candle from Nordstrom's because they had some anthropology candles. But I just love the style of the jar and I love the smell, very fresh and clean. This candle, Harvest Pumpkin and Sweet Vanilla, that sounds divine. Now I can't have candles now because of my oxygen. I am on oxygen and it's sad, so I have to go for the battery operated candles or the just flickering flameless candles that again are battery operated. I also use diffusers and whatnot. And I used to sell Scentsy. Sometimes I go back and sell it again. I haven't decided if I am going to this season, um, but I do have a lot of Scentsy warmers and that is another way I like to scent my house since I can't have candles burning. Their decor is more fall-esque. Now, we are going to go into the Halloween shop. I already know that I love this design. It is so nice and I love it because it's kind of spooky and cute, but we are gonna go visit their Halloween shop, just like it says. Takes a couple seconds for my computer to load. And again, I believe it's going to pop up and ask to add my email, which they already email me all the time. And look at this adorable Halloween decor. I love that the candle says ghosted. That's too funny. I feel ghosted by that stupid ghost blanket that I want. I love that little kitty. That mug is adorable. Look, an item is already sold out. Look at these owl dishes, owl and cat dishes. Ooh, look at that. They call it a celestial cheese board. That is very cool. I already have some candle holders like that. The crows. So you have to make sure to check out your anthropology website because, oh, they have coasters too and a set of four. A little pricey, $68 for that. I will not be buying that, but these juice glasses are so cute. I saw them a long time ago. They sold out right away. And look at the dish towels. I've bought in some dish towels from Anthropology for Christmas time. Don't forget about Anthropology if you like vintage decor at Christmas time because they have very cute stuff. This spiderweb cheese board is really cute. Look at this mug, this owl mug. And these bats. Look at those rattan bats. I'm just going to scroll through. Ooh, 
And here is a pumpkin spice latte candle. I bet that smells absolutely divine. It is a good price. Now you're gonna hear my dog walking around the house. She heard my boyfriend go out the front door and she wants to know what's going on. Ooh, look at this wreath. That is gorgeous. But I would never pay $118 for that. This reed diffuser is very cute. Look at their village. $78. That can't be for the whole set. But it might be. I'll have to click on that. This garland is very spooky looking. I really like that a lot. Again, more sold out items. Spooky trees. I'm not seeing what I did want on here. It looks like they sold out of it, which darn it, you gotta move quick on stuff. The popcorn can or the candy bowl is very cute. Look at these coasters. Those are cute. So yeah, I think the houses are individually priced because this one is $68. Ooh, I'm loving the hand-painted eye tray and pumpkin clove. Oh, I bet that smells good. Here's another house. So yeah, they are definitely individually priced. Going to the next page. All right, and this spooky village mausoleum, oh my goodness, how cool is that? That would be awesome if you have like some haunted houses and whatnot. I'm actually gonna click on that and get a closer look. They have some great Halloween decor on anthropology actually. I'm very, very impressed. So this is $44. And oh, I just love it. I think it is so cool. It's not really showing it individually, but man, they have some great decor. I really like this mausoleum house. I think it is too, too cool. going back to where I was. These candle holders are very cute. They call it a fan candle holder because the shapes are like a fan, I'm assuming. It looks kind of like a spider web to me, but those are very cool. You can see how it illuminates on the wall. Ooh, and I love the taper candles there. Too much spooky stuff. I actually have a gate like this that I put in front of my haunted house. I got it at Michael's years ago and it's almost identical. Lots of great candles. They carry the Voluspa candles at Nordstrom's as well. I used to see those all the time. Now these moth iron stakes are very neat. You could do a lot with these guys and those are $22. Not too bad of a price for those. Lots of neat candles. Oh, and look at this floral dishware. Very kind of vintage inspired. You could use that for all seasons. Oh my gourd, you're here. <laughs> Very cute. Now this is an iron wreath. This is different looking. I actually think that that is really cool. And what a cool, fun book. A book full of spooky stories, 50 tales to make your spine tingle, $25. That looks very interesting. The bat stakes are cool. Now, you know what I used to do for my kids? Before, you know, all you had so many options for Halloween decor. Years ago, I would take, um, 
construction paper and I would make that and then I would just get the bendable wire and I would tape the bats or glue the bats to the wire with a glue gun and I would stick with the wire the bats in the top of their pumpkins and I used to get so many compliments from people. How did you do that? Oh my god those are so cute and now you can pretty much find this stuff any where but that's one thing I did for my kids when they were younger they had what is called the pumpkin walk at their school so parents would come on a day and we'd carve pumpkins and then they would light up all the pumpkins outside of their school and they called it the pumpkin walk because they didn't have Halloween parties at school anymore which I feel like my kids kind of missed out on just because um when I was a kid we we're able to wear our costumes to school and all kinds of stuff. And it was so much fun. We look forward to the classroom Halloween parties, but not when I, my kids were young. There were no Halloween parties, but they did the pumpkin walk, which was a thing. They have some really cute earrings on anthropology and some pins for your hair. Look at this cute bat platter. Oh my gosh, they just have so much stuff. This pedestal dish is so cute. And look at these shot glasses. Oh my gosh, perfect for a bar area. Those are the cutest shot glasses ever. Somebody, another person, and I don't like to call people out. Don't get me wrong, I'm not calling people out. I just think it's really neat. So. I like your opinions. I like when you tell me stuff. Um, as I mentioned, I told you why sometimes my voice sounds like a robot because I lose my breath. So, but someone else had said that I say the word cute too much. Well, cute Halloween decor, some of it is cute. What do you want me to say? Some of it's spooky, some of it's scary, some of it is cute. And I think because I love Halloween, that I'm naturally gonna call some of the Halloween decor cute. If it's scary, I'll say, look at this scary thing, or I'll say, look at this spooky item. But anyways, I like all your comments. I love all of you so much. I appreciate all of you watching. Look at this snake. Now this is something, if this was sitting on a floor, from a distance, I would probably freak and be like, oh my God, what the heck? Look at these. Oh, those are, those are cute. Those would be awesome to put in a plant. Anthropology, you are not helping my wallet right now. Seriously. So much cute stuff. Look at this dish towel. Black forest linen dish towel. Those are very spooky looking. There's the bowls to those plates. Some more moss. All right, that jack-o'-lantern bowl. That's to die for. That is so cute. I think anthropology outdid themselves this season. I think, honestly, this is their first year having Halloween decor, correct me if I'm wrong. I know they always do like fall decor, but I'm pretty sure that this is their first year having Halloween decor. And they, I feel like, did a great job. Look at the cute doggy. Here is the kid's book, The Good, Bad, and the Spooky. That would be a fun gift. Kid temporary tattoos. How fun. Look at this wreath hanger. That's pretty cute. This cage. Dome wire cloche. That is really neat looking. I like the feet. I would not pay $68 for that though. This book looks cute too. The Shy Ghost. Did any of you all ever watch Casper? That was like my favorite show as a kid. I absolutely love that show. And then the Casper movie 
what is really good. I really like the movie. They did have a table runner on here that I really liked because I did kind of do a sneak peek and look at the anthropology stuff a few weeks ago. And I was like, I should do a video. I've never seen anyone do a video with any of these websites. Look at that iron garland, that's so cute. And I don't see that table runner here anymore. So they must have sold out. And it's like, I, like I've said before, if you see something, you have to get it right away because it will sell out. I like this black and white pattern on the dishes and the platter, really cute. These will be really great on like if you're having a spooky dinner to have on your table. I like those baskets. They call it a decorative bowl, but it looks more like a basket to me. You could do so many creative things with the iron stakes there. Oh, I like that candle. That is something right there. That's really cool. Cause you could put like a light behind it and it would illuminate. This is a great runner for Thanksgiving. A Halloween advent calendar. Just when you thought you saw it all. Now that is really neat, but I would not be paying no $208 for it. And that is it on the Anthropology website for Halloween. So it looks like they did sell the table runner that I was interested in. I will go back and show you. It is actually the same pattern as let me show you. But I was looking at other stuff and I have to be very careful with my spending just because of my health and my income is not as high as it once was. So the table runner that I was interested in is the same one that matches trying to go slow. I don't want to hurt anyone's eyes. So I'm actually going to pause the video and get to the spot and I will be right back. So this they had in a table runner. They had this spirit dish towel and they had it in a table runner style and it was $58 and I do not see it on the website any longer. So they must have sold out of it. So that must mean it's not meant for me to have it, but I really like the pattern. I thought it was really cute with the butterflies and the cats and everything. I do like the dish towels, so maybe I'll pick up the dish towels. See, it says right here, 73 people have purchased this item. Do not wait. Yeah, and it normally shows if it comes in a table runner and I do not see it so it looks like it is sold out. So next I'm going to be showing you the CB2 website. It is affiliated with Crate and Barrel. Now again when a lot of times when you search to go to these websites you will get a pop-up and this is my pop-up save 15% off of a full price item so you just fill out the information and a coupon should go to your phone number or your email. So I am going to search the Halloween items. So I am not seeing a lot of Halloween items, but look at this bust sculpture. Now, if you saw in one of my last videos, I did buy a bust and she looks very similar to this one. And this is kind of what I was going for. I want to do kind of a shiny black finish on her. I think this one looks so good. I will link that video in my description box below if you want to go back and check the bust out that I got and what a great deal I got on it. Also, 
I don't know what it is. I love black and white checker. I have Vans. I have a crossbody bag. I have so much stuff that is black and white checkered. And I mentioned this before. I think it's because I just was really into NASCAR racing a few years back. And um, we used to go all the time and have a lot of fun. And I would get pit passes and go down on the pits. And it was just a great family fun time. It's funny because at one of the NASCAR races, if you're familiar with NASCAR drivers, um, back in the day, Jeff Gordon, um, my ex, he actually presented Jeff Gordon with like a $10,000 check at one of the NASCAR races where I live. And it was very cool. And also, funny story, well, it's not funny, it's actually really neat, is Eddie Van Halen and his girlfriend were at that race by the stage. And literally, Eddie Van Halen was walking behind me. And I did get a picture of him over my shoulder, so. And then another time, we went to a NASCAR race and, um, Dale Earnhardt Sr., the dad, I have a picture of him actually in the background driving that number three car. And it was, I think, a year or two before he passed away. I will actually insert that picture at the end of the video if you would like to see it. I was much healthier looking, younger, and I'm actually holding my daughter. She is around two or three years old in the picture, but I will put that at the end of this video. So for CB2, not really a lot of Halloween decor, but they have like a lot of neutral color items. That is an incense burner. That is really cool. You can see how the, where you stick the incense is on the back of the bird. That is cool. I can't use stuff like that just because of my lungs, which is very sad because I have a tombstone that is an incense burner and it smokes and it's super cool, but I can't use it because of the, in the smoke from the incense. So I'm not seeing a lot here on CB2. Let me kind of refine the search. Hold on one second. So I refined the search and I put in Halloween decor and there are zero results. So there are some cool items on here though. And make sure you go and check out their website because, and then I see a see all offers and there's seven. Let's see what the offers are. So Make sure you're looking at coupons and rewards on websites, especially when the items are pretty expensive because there's like hidden deals you can find. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button as I'm trying so hard to get to 2,000 subscribers. Then I wanna have that giveaway for you guys, but I wanna get to 2,000 subscribers first. And then please make sure to hit that like button. I love all your comments. Keep them coming. And until the next one, happy haunting.